I believe the Checkmate 026 study was not successful because of several different reasons. Uh, one, it did not target the patients that were most likely to benefit, which is those patients with high PDL1 of 50% or greater, uh, where pembrolizumab right now really c focused on that group of patients, where they knew at, based on the Keno 001 and the 010 that if you had 50% or greater, the chance of response was very high the chance of long-term benefit was higher in that gradation where in O26 it uh took patients with a PDL one status of 1% or greater. And yes, they looked at 5% uh, 5 cutoff, but I don't think there was, um, you know, again, even though um, in Checkmate 026, they did look at the group of patients with PDL one status of 50% or greater and did not see any difference in survival based on that subset analysis. But again, there were more patients on the chemotherapy arm who had PDL one of 50% or greater compared to those patients that were given nivolumab. Plus there were randomization differences as well as uh, radiation uh, uh, differences as well be on the Checkmate 026 where majority of patients who went on to Checkmate 024 did not receive radiation therapy. There are studies that show that regular dose uh, radiation therapy, not SBRT, um, but other like either whole brain or um, mediastinal radiation that you can cause some significant lymphopenia that is equated to survival um, in those patients who weren't treated with immunotherapy. So I would think that potentially radiation therapy could have some effects on survival for those patients who do receive immunotherapy down the road, particularly large volume uh, radiation therapy, not just a bone metastasis.